everybody out there, I'm glad you could join me for another review video. This time I'm reviewing a movie that COVID probably destroyed single-handedly. And that's a shame because it's a really good movie and I think it got overlooked by a lot of people, including myself, until recently. And I am, of course, talking about the new animated film out from Paramount and WWE called Rumble. And if you don't know anything about it or know that it's available on digital, I don't blame you because nobody's talking about it and I've seen very few people do actual review videos on it. Production on the film started back in 2015. It was supposed to hit theaters in 2020 and then of course COVID happened and people weren't going to theaters so Paramount rather than scrapping the project altogether made it a Paramount Plus exclusive which is why I don't remember it being in theaters because it never was. Even with it being a Paramount Plus exclusive, I don't think it was marketed very well. I only ever remember seeing one preview for it and I saw it and I went, oh that looks kind of cute. And then it just slipped out of my mind because I never saw anything more on it. And again, no one has been talking about this movie. Or I should say very few people were and what they were saying was not overly positive. And before I get into my review of the movie, I want to say that I wish that there were more movies like this out there, at least on the subject subject matter of it being a kaiju movie because I have a nephew that absolutely loves everything kaiju and he hasn't necessarily seen every kaiju movie out there but there isn't a whole lot of stuff for him at his age level to take part in as far as kaiju go there's starting to be more but not enough especially geared towards kids and it's a shame because they're missing out on a whole demographic here because if you get kids liking this stuff then the parents are gonna buy the stuff for their kids but that's just my opinion now let's get into the movie so rumble takes place in a reality where kaiju and humans have progressed through history together and along the way they've come up with a sport called monster wrestling this is a sport where the kaiju who yes can speak and understand english in this movie battle it out in wrestling rings with humans as their coach winnie is the daughter of this famous coach who along with his kaiju kind of transformed monster wrestling and wound up being the best that ever would unfortunately at the beginning of the movie we're told that they were on their way to a fight together and something happens and they wind up being lost at sea and presumed dead never seen again even though it was a devastating blow to the sport and the town and especially winnie's family things have just carried on under the legacy of her father and his kaiju and now the town has a new champion kaiju who's fighting matches and bringing money into the town well at the beginning of the movie he wins this big fight and then announces to the town that he's going to be leaving the town and going somewhere else for greener pastures because he's outgrown them and there's more money and opportunity in the other town that he's going to and this is just another devastating blow that the town has to deal with because this is how they're making their money people are coming to see these fights and drawing in business to all the other businesses around and now they're not going to have that they don't have a fighter drawing crowds in they've just spent all this money on this new stadium in memory of when he's dead but also with the thought that this new kaiju was going to be their champion fighting and since they don't have that anymore the mayor calls a meeting and he says look we just spent all this money in the stadium we don't have a kaiju we're all going to go bankrupt because the loan that the city took out to get this stadium is going to come due in 90 days and now we don't have a fighter but what we do have is this other guy from the town that the kaiju went to offering to buy the stadium and tear it down and turn it into a parking lot and Winnie who doesn't want to see her dad's legacy destroyed volunteers to go out and find a new champion kaiju that she can be the coach of and nobody really has any faith that she can do it but they agree to let her try and she goes to another town that's got this underground fight club type situation and she finds a kaiju there that she convinces to let her be the coach and him come back to the town and be their champion fighter and even though this kaiju steve is kind of reluctant to do what he has to do to win he does come around and start to enjoy winning and as the story progresses you find out he's actually the son of the kaiju that her dad trained this is the classic underdog story you want him to win you're rooting for him to win it looks like he's not going to win and then he wins it's rocky but with wrestling i really had no problem with this movie at all the animation is incredible the story is really well done all the voice acting in the movie was on point will arnett as the main character i thought was just great he was everything this movie needed him to be exactly when 
they needed him to be it. My only complaint about the movie is I wish it had gotten a theatrical release. I think it would have done a lot better if it had, and you would definitely have a lot more people talking about it now. I know for me, it's definitely one that I will be watching again, either by myself or with family, and I highly encourage all of you to check it out as well. Anyways, guys, that's the end of my review. Giving this one a rating is hard for me because I want to be fair and see its flaws and positives. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 5 out of 10. And that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all later. Bye.